it's your favorite Force Unleashed, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Black Series Force Unleashed Stormtrooper exclusive to GameStop. I was looking for this one, Tyler Collector found it in the wild for me, and I was able to reimburse him. That dude lives in the land of milk and honey. There's a few of them. Him, Frank H., there's a few of them that live out there where their distribution is just way better than what I'm used to. Be that as it may, we're going to take a look at this. I'm sure Hasbro was trying to get one last use out of this mold before they re-up and update their Stormtrooper mold. So we're going to look at this guy, but in order to do so, we got to look at accessories. So he comes with this kind of standard Stormtrooper blaster and I want you to take note of it. It's a clean sculpt and we have a little bit of paint, just a little silver bit painted on right there and it's done fairly well. Not super clean or perfect but fairly well and that's what we got for this. It can fit in his holster and he can hold it with good trigger discipline. But then we have his rifle which has the shoddiest dry brushing job done to man over it. It just looks like a mess. And I don't know why this got dry brush treatment and this didn't, and why this one looks so terrible when they're usually pretty good at dry brushing the weapons, but this is a mess. Anyway, sculpted well enough. And he'll hold that as well. So let's take a look at the figure. So the main thing here, the main allure, right, is the blue paint. And the good news is, it's done pretty well. There's a couple places where it looks a little cheesier than others. For instance, this scratch marks here on the thigh, but for the most part, it looks pretty well. Now, for the head, we have the one kind of blaster scorch mark here on his helmet. The black, blue, scorch mark, blue, gray, black, silver paint all over it looks great. So they did a great job there. It's a ball peg connected to a disc hinge. As a result, you get the head up to there, down to there, swivel, confused dog look, works really well. You have the chest piece with a single ball peg from the chest into the abdomen, decent enough range with a swivel really tight, teapot, a little bit over, good bit back, kind of fine. The blue paint does continue for the most part up. There's a little scratch mark in there, but that kind of makes sense. Scratch marks throughout, a couple scorch marks throughout, looks good, scorch mark on the belt, no issues. Good to go. Shoulders are a disc hinge. The shoulder pad is connected to the shoulder, but it doesn't move. It's a softer plastic, so it goes up and over the collarbone to a bit and does a decent enough job of it. You can then swivel it around for the 360. We have a bicep swivel. We have a double jointed elbow back in the days when they really articulated the Black Series. So that's cool. The blue paint is done nice and clean on the bicep and we got a little bit of scratch marks done on the blue shoulder pad all good same for the forearm couple little scratch marks clean blue paint wrist swivel hinge in out on this hand which is the <laughs> thumbs up hand and um a hinge up down on this hand i believe yes once again same articulation same sort of attention to detail in regard to paint we have T-jointed ball joints for hips. They get you out this far, which is a decent range. Forward and back to there, which is also decent. We have the thigh swivel at a cut joint, but the armor hides most of the unsightliness. We have a double jointed knee. Once again, not the most sightly, but very effective. Black paint added on that works okay. Not great, but okay. And then we have some blue paint added down here. A uh, scorch mark on the back there, blue stripes on his dancing shoes. Speaking of his dancing shoes, we have an ankle tilt up, we have an ankle tilt down, and we have a rocker with black paint on the bottom of the shoe. So this is a decent mold. It always has been. Um, it's starting to show its age a little bit, so I think it is time probably for an update. I'm a little bummed that we're getting an update of this figure and not a, a new character, you know, in the, in the future anyway. Uh, I'm glad that they get one more use out of it because it is a decent mold. It's the mold that brought me into Black Series, so it has a little bit of uh, of meaning to me. But yep, there it is. <clears throat> Final thoughts wise, the negatives are that the mold is starting to show its age. The double jointed knees look really bad, for instance. The slippers on his feet look a little silly also. And the empty gap between the Stormtrooper helmet to the bottom of the neck area looks a little less professional than I feel like what they'll do next. Outside of that, specific to this mold, because we can't really hold that accountable, right? Because we knew what the mold was. The issue is mainly the paint. Most of it is done really well. However, very few of the scorch marks are done well. The one on the helmet, 
thank God is done well because that's the one that you really notice. The one on the belt is sloppy. The one on the legs is extremely bad. I'll show you this other leg. Like it just, it doesn't, it just looks like dirt. And I mean, maybe that's the effect they were going for, but that doesn't look great. And the blue, for the most part, is really well done. There's just a couple places here and there where it looks a little kind of chunky. Positives wise though, the mold holds up fairly well. It is starting to show its age, but for the exceptions that we've mentioned, the rest of it works fairly well. Skull work is done well, and the majority of the paint work is done really well. So for a video game element of this franchise that doesn't really get a whole ton of love, but yet is quite beloved by the fans, I can say that I definitely give it a recommend if you are interested in it or have that space in your heart for it. Just don't expect to be blown away. It's a Stormtrooper with some blue on it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Yeah.